It's getting very interesting. Things are falling into place. Let me repeat this to these Kenyans who deserve bad leaders. You know, Kenya has been getting bad leaders because Kenyans are not serious. But let me deliver this bad news to you people. And it will happen that way. Rigadi Gashago will be impeached. Upon him being impeached, he might even be arrested. So Kenyans should prepare for that. We cannot have a divisive figure like Rigadi Gashago as our deputy president. We will all be mad. Somebody talking over shareholding government. That's a person who should be in jail as I talk. We all saw what happened across the country. And what happened brought a very interesting pattern. And this pattern, Kenyans were objective saw it. Those who want to live in denial never saw it. The pattern came out very clearly. Let's have a look at a post shared out by Honorable Caleb Amisi. Amisi is trying to explain that pattern that came out today during the public participation. Honorable Caleb Amisi, these are the general feelings of Kenyans from different regions across the country in today's participation. Central region, Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga Akipona, Moja Awe Makanga. Nyanza, Kufa Kufa Kufa, Mwenye Atakufa Wakwanza Sana Sana, Makanga. Rift Valley, Signing forms quietly, Wanaskiza Kifo, Nyanani Kwanza. Western, Wengi ni Kufa Makanga, Wachache ni Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga. Coast, Kufa, Kufa, Kufa. Kwanza Kufa Makanga, Dereva Ngoja Kidogo. Eastern, Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga na Dereva. Kufa Makanga, Kufa Dereva, Kufa Wote, Kufa. Kuna shida hapa. Northeastern, Kufa Makanga, Clear. Nairobi, Kufa kabisa wote na biria. Tokomea ata MPs kwela kabisa anguka nayo. We saw a lady at Bombers of Kenya saying the whole team including governors should go. Yes. The lady spoke at Bombers of Kenya. Caleb Amisi has given the exact feel of what happened across the country. And this is what I've been explaining, but some people are still living in denial. Raila Odinga's traditional support basis wants Rigadi Gashagwa to be impeached. Ruto Stronghold wants Rigadi Gashagwa to go. And even if a vote was to be done today, that would be the pattern. The battle lines are being drawn clearly. You must choose. We can no longer continue pretending. Battle lines are being drawn very clearly. And in this forum, we are not here to take sides. We don't support any group. We are just here to inform Kenyans of what's happening on the ground. And we don't know how to beat about the bush we go straight unto the point. Truth is always one. There is no neutral truth. And that truth is what we are informing our subscribers here. So it's upon Kenyans to make their own decisions. But here we are just trying to explain the truth as it is. In today's public participation, the divide came out very clearly. Nyanza, Western, Coast, 
those have been Raila Odinga strongholds. A hoping majority said Rigathi has to go. There is nothing like both. A hoping majority said Rigathi has to go. That was in Nyanza, Western, and at the coast. There were a minority who were talking of both, but they were in a minority. A majority regarded us to go. Kenyans should accept these truths. Stop living in denial. Kenyans are still divided along ethnic lines. And that's how even the voting will be. So for these people who are fed up, with William Ruto. Your only wild card is to support maybe a Gen Z. Not this your ethnic political leaders. These ones will not be able to defeat Ruto. Your only hope or option if you want to punish William Ruto don't support this your ethnic leaders. They will all fail Support somebody maybe a Gen Z or somebody of impeccable character. Somebody not implicated in corruption. Not these individuals you are telling us. Somebody who clearly talks of a shareholding government. Some Kenyans are supporting that kind of a person. How can you have sympathy for somebody clearly dividing Kenyans? I've already seen how this whole thing will end up. I've already seen it. And that's why I'm talking the way I'm talking. Regard is not fit holding a public office. Anybody supporting Rigadi Gashagwa, before you talk of Ruto being bad, we all agree Ruto is bad, he has failed. Rigadi is worse off than William Ruto. He's worse off. So, Caleb Amisi has given us the public participation. And if you are to put this into percentage, then a hoping majority of Kenyans are saying Rigadi has to be impeached. A hoping majority. Do a proper scientific poll. You'll realize a hoping majority of Kenyans are saying Rigadi has to go. And from where I sit, he should not only be impeached, he should also be arrested. We know what Rigadi has done. That's the only way we can fight impunity. We can't fight impunity by pretending to be neutral. That you want to please everybody. You can't please everybody. A society cannot grow when we are trying to please everybody. Something wrong is wrong, Kenyans. That's what makes us different from other Kenyans trying to analyze these issues. We don't pretend. We don't know how to pretend. And we also don't know how to beat about the bush. We hit the nail on the head. Rigadi will be impeached. And if William Ruto fails to impeach Rigadi, William Ruto himself will go home. He will lose the support of these opposition strongholds if he fails to impeach Rigadi. So his only option, his only way out. I know William Ruto himself started that impeachment. So he must go with it to its logical conclusion. No backing out. No backing out, ladies and gentlemen. So Ruto has to proceed with this impeachment to its logical conclusion. Let me hear from you in the comment section what you think. But what I've said is actually true. What Caleb Amis has posted is true. That was the film. And on this, William Ruto has scored a very big win because Rigadi had intended to use public participation to challenge his impeachment in court. From this, the kind of attention, excitement, that public participation 
has generated, nobody will be able to successfully challenge this in court. There has been a public participation. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.